What's up, guys? I'm Cecil Laird. Welcome to The Horror Show. I'm CZ Von Slaughter. I'm In Fuego here, and we have another trailer reaction, guys. Yeah, we try to at least do seven of these a week to keep you informed as to all the new things coming uh, down the pipeline <laughs> in the scare epic. seven a week. At least. I this know. week we're doing eight. That, yeah. But that's so crazy. Just to think about. We like, keep it real. So much. No, I mean, so much stuff coming out. Oh, yeah. We uh -huh. can come up with that much. And that's there's a lot true. of stuff that doesn't even make the cut weekly, guys. But one mm -hmm. that did this week is called Abattoir. Abat not to be confused. Abattoir. Uh, abattoir, exactly. <laughs> We're just going to pronounce it however the hell we want. This is one that is directed by the same guy who did Saw 2, 3, and 4. He also worked on Brebo Genetic Opera and various other things. Mm. So I'm curious about that. I guess there's an investigative reporter looking at a house that's constructed of uh, dead people's rooms or something weird like that. I mean, maybe typical haunted house, but with a good pedigree. This could be interesting. Okay. All right. Well, let's give it a go. What yeah. you say? In three, two, one... I'm going to make sure the Go, maybe, up. soon. Go, yeah. and go. Yeah. Ten years before I took over the ownership, there was a nasty home invasion. Let's go! A husband and wife killed. In your house? More specifically, in the hallway. And the hallway was gone. Half a dozen properties bought and sold over a 50-year span. Each one purchased. After a tragic event occurred in the house. Who buys a house and cuts the entire crime scene out of it? Found this in the closing papers. Jebediah Crone. The guy's a ghost collecting ghosts. I'm getting too close to this one. Are you willing to build this foundation on the bones of angels? Will you fall with me, children? Please, Christ! Jebediah Crone had been to hell, and he brought that with him. say right off the bat is that somewhere along the line this movie had to have been called Frankenhaunt or something <laughs> like that because just because it's so many pieces of so it's many a Frankenhaunted things. house it's a Frankenstein haunted house yeah. he was building it you know a patchwork haunted house from mm -hmm. other bits of haunted houses I like the idea it's definitely different mm -hmm. definitely not something i've ever heard of right yeah, different than what i was initially expecting i'm like oh this is going to be by the books but then they twisted a few things here and there and yeah it's pretty crazy i can see what's what's interesting about it is that what people a lot of people may not know but if something horrific happened in a house like i had a house that i purchased a long time ago and the um it, there was this uh, fa it was a family of five kids and the mother, she had remarried. Now, the oldest boy, he was very angry, and he used to punch holes in his walls in his room. And, like, in the room, there was, like, holes in the walls, and, the, you know, they explained, the, the neighbors explained to me what happened. But what's well, so leave crazy... leave some negative energy, though, I would imagine. Exactly. <laughs> and so we would hear that. Like, energies like that get left. So that's pretty crazy. Like, if some, you know, they said murder in the hallway. So, yeah, mm -hmm. like, that energy in the hallway. Mm -hmm. But I don't know... I know it's just a movie, but still, would exertion it physically... of physical force is like energy being no, exactly. Being but I'm saying, what, but would it follow with even out? Well, they because... say they say that the place where they died is where they're haunting, right? So mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, that's the conceit of this particular movie. Well, yeah, yeah. because of, well, you know, like in a lot of haunted houses, they'll say like with ghosts, you'll see them walking into walls. It's because the place may have been renovated, and that used to be a path that they used to walk through. Sure. I know I'm getting way too into it. No, no, that's actually <laughs> Like, I'm diving too deep. But, so that's what I was, I was thinking, curious about, so would it, they, like, the spirit would follow with 
the room and hallway and everything that was taken. I, well, that's I think that's, that's what they're question. going for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's so that's that's just kind of probably one of the things you'd have to accept of this particular movie. Well, and also the fact but that that's those, interesting enough, you yeah. know, for me. Yeah. Well, those questions arising, I was just going to say, is that it, it shows that this is maybe a, above average in, in this genre that we've seen before. Higher if concept. Yeah. If, mm-hmm. if they're making us think about it and say, I wonder what they're going to do with this. What's up with this? That actually means there's a hook in. They're doing something a little different with it. And, I'm right there. I'm stuck. Yeah, to see no, it. this this is pretty yeah, successful. This, this I would watch. I've, yeah, yeah, I've never heard about this. No, Frank that's a very house. successful trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Frank, I was I was trying to think of the best so like the Frank and haunted house. house, Frank and house, Frank and haunt. Like I couldn't decide which way it would be best. But it but... is still kind of funny that it's the saw who cut people apart. Right, and exactly. Now they're cutting houses. Well, and yeah. they even after I mentioned it, they're like boom, 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 boom. We gotta step this up. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, step <laughs> this up. Yeah. <laughs> what else could we cut? Houses. Um, next is gonna be <laughs> Frank and Car. <laughs> 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 um, but uh, isn't that many cars though? I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, but this looks like uh, it was like I said, it's successful. It was a successful trailer because mm-hmm. we're interested and we're talking about it. And I gotta say, the uniquely beautiful yet hauntingly soul crushing review that they put in there, I was like, ooh, that, what's that mm-hmm. mean? And it's there right was my alley, a lot know. of positive reviews. And then Lynn so. Shay at the end. And that it's got lady, a lot of good though, buzz. Yeah, Lynn Shay. I'm you getting tired of her? I, yes. Okay. Like, because I feel like she plays the same... She gets a lot same... of exposure. Well, in Insidious, she's the same character, but there's been three Insidious movies, so it feels right, like she's Right, but she was, like, lot. also in Ouija, and she... And, in fact, she was in the... Uh, was she in The Conjuring? The original Conjuring? No. No, no, no. She, Ouija. Was she in Ouija 2? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because she, she was the sister, remember, and she was trying to... Was she in Ouija 2? I don't think she was not in Ouija 2. No, we, I was saying Ouija, Ouija, Ouija also Ouija. is what I was asking. Yeah. I always remember her from There's Something About Mary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. That's scary in a different way. Anyway, well, that's going to do it for our reaction to Abattoir, mm-hmm. or Abattoir, whatever you want to call it. Frankenhouse. Frankenhouse, <laughs> yes. A.K.A. Frankenhouse. <laughs> so, Ask Frank Frankenhouse. What's up, Marsha Parker? Let us know in the comments below, guys, if this looks interesting to you. Like I said, I think it's getting a lot of buzz right now, so I might put this out sooner rather than later, mm-hmm. but uh, I'm excited about it, actually. It looks like it is a unique take on a mm-hmm. Haunted House movie, which is what we're in need of right yes. now. Exactly, Seriously. yeah. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Cece Von Slaughter. Gracias, Evan Jaime and Fuego. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and check out our new store. Cecil, want to mention it to them? Absolutely, you guys. We teamed up with Tee Public, and you can check the link right down in the description box below. We are actually having a lot of great stuff on sale this week for Black Friday, and I think there's even a pre-Black Friday sale going on on the site. Ooh. But there's sales all over there's the place. There's our right shirt now. designs. You can get our cool horror show designs as well as our coexist shirt which you guys have seen us rock in the past and uh, a- along with a bunch of other awesome horror mashup designs that we hand selected from the T Public Master site to put on our specific store so check it out at the link down below and uh, do your Black Friday shopping there guys yeah. but uh, thanks again for watching and until next time remember stay, stay scared, scared.